welcome friends let us continue to study chapter number 3 on my youtube channel kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel the topics included in this lecture are numerical based on specific enthalpy of steam now before we go for the numerical let us study the fundamental point number a water at 0 degree celsius if we supply the heat it will reach to the saturation temperature and it is known as the saturated liquid if we continue to supply we will get the point number c and it will be a mixture of water and steam and it is known as the wet steam again temperature is saturation temperature if we supply the heat again then 100% of water will be converted into steam temperature of steam at point d is again saturate uh, saturation temperature and that steam is known as the dry steam if we supply the heat again then we are going to get the heating of steam and it is known as the superheated steam and temperature at point e is more than saturation temperature and this is the temperature versus specific enthalpy of the steam so a to b is the heating of water up to saturation temperature b to c is the uh, up to the wet steam again up to the d it is a dry steam again at point b h c and d temperature remain constant that is saturation temperature and if we continue to supply the heat at point d we are going to get point e which is the superheated steam and it is for pressure p1 and these are the parameter at point number b saturated water temperature is t set specific enthalpy can be written as cp of water tb minus ta and specific volume is vf we know that now hf and vf can be available directly from the steam table also t set also is available from steam table point number c that is wet steam temperature is t set specific enthalpy is hf plus x into hfg kilo joule per kg now let us see t set can be available from steam table hf can be available from the steam table hfg can be available from the steam table so only we require to get x if we have been given x we can calculate h wet and specific volume is x into vg vg we may get from the directly from steam table so directly we get the v wet point number d it is the dry steam temperature is t set and t set can be again read from the directly steam table specific enthalpy hf plus hfg or directly you can say hfg so all three values are available on steam table so directly it can be read from the steam table and v dry is equals to vg so this vg can be directly taken from the steam table at point e steam is superheated steam and temperature of steam is more than the saturated steam or saturation temperature and the specific enthalpy hf plus hfg plus cp of steam t sup minus t set so in this equation hf hfg and t set can be read from the steam table t sup can be given in the numerical cp of steam is a constant so we can calculate h sup also and specific volume is vg into t sup by t set vg and t set can be taken from steam table t sup can be given in the numerical so we can calculate v sup so ultimately if we are able to read the steam table easily then we can get all the answer easily so this is the you can say example of pressure based steam table that already we have studied in the previous table uh, previous lecture first column is pressure so it is known as the pressure based steam table other data we can read as per the pressure given in the numerical and this is the temperature based steam table at particular this point we are not required to use temperature based steam table in which first column is t set now let us study the numerical calculate the enthalpy of 8 kg of 90% dry steam at an absolute pressure of 12 bar data they have given mass of steam 8 kg 
dryness fraction of steam x 90 percentage so it is 0 0.9 and third one is pressure of steam 12 bar so first of all from all this data what we have to calculate enthalpy so we have to calculate the enthalpy but there are four type of steam available saturated liquid wet steam dry steam and superheated steam for all four the equations are different so first of all we have to identify which kind of steam is given in the numerical so can anybody identify which kind of steam is given in the numerical yes because 90 percent is dry x value is given it is wet steam so we have to calculate the enthalpy of wet steam and what is the equation of enthalpy of wet steam h wet is equals to hf plus x into hfg kilojoule per kg right so that is the equation with uh, that we have to use it now hf and hfg we have to take from steam table from the pressure given in the numerical so 12 bar pressure is already given so we have to read from steam table at pressure is equals to 12 bar hf value is this and hfg is this now it is easy calculate hf h wet h wet is equals to hf plus x given in the numerical hfg we have already taken from the steam table so answer is 2584.27 kilojoule per kilogram of steam is this the final answer no because here they have given you mass of steam so we have to calculate the enthalpy not specific enthalpy here it is small h and they are requiring us to calculate capital H. So how to calculate the capital H? Total enthalpy? Yes. Enthalpy of 8 kilogram of wet steam is equals to capital H wet is equals to mass of steam multiplied by H wet. H wet we have already calculated. Mass of steam given in the numerical. So it is 8 multiplied by 2584.27. And due to that, capital H wet, that is total enthalpy of dry steam, e, uh, sorry, wet steam is 20674.16 kilojoule. This is the correct answer for the numerical. Let us solve the, another numerical. Calculate the heat required for 5 kilogram of steam at 250 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 2 bar. So here, please understand, if they have given you mass, you have to get the answer multiply by 5. Let us see what data they have given. Mass of steam, 5 kilogram. Temperature of steam, 250 degrees Celsius. And pressure of steam, 20 bar. And we have to calculate the heat required, that is enthalpy. So we have to calculate the enthalpy. And again, now big question is identification of type of steam. Which steam is given? Saturated liquid, wet steam, dry steam or superheated steam? Now can anybody identify? No, because X is not given, so we don't know whether it is wet steam or not. Then what we have to do? Yes. So let us again calculate or find out some data from the steam table at P20 bar. At P20 bar, the values are these. T set is 212.37 degrees Celsius. HF value, HFG value and HG value is given. Now let us compare the temperature or saturation temperature with the temperature of steam given in the numerical. Which temperature is more? Temperature of steam given in the numerical is more than the saturation temperature. And now can you identify which type of steam is this? Yes, when the temperature of steam is more than the saturation steam, it is always superheated steam. And that given temperature of steam can be written as T soup is equals to 250 degrees Celsius. So if you have to calculate the enthalpy, we have to go for the superheated steam. And the equation is HF plus HFG plus CP of steam into T soup minus T set. So here I have changed. T steam given is now T soup because it is more than saturation temperature and it is 250 degrees Celsius. My equation is this 
Now substitute the value of HF, 908.6, HFG, 1888.6, CP of steam is constant, that is 2.1, and T-soup, given in the numerical 250, T-set, uh, saturation temperature from steam table, that is 212.37, so H-soup is 2876.22 kilojoule per kg of steam. But again, it is per kg of steam. And we have been given 5 kg of steam. So this is not the final answer. Yes, final answer is enthalpy of 5 ki kilogram of superheated steam. That is, H soup is equals to mass of steam multiplied by small H soup. So 5 multiplied by 2876.22. And final answer is 14,381.1 kilo. Jules. Thank you.